and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bscrap and I want to show you today my newest project. It is from um, the paper collection Lavender Farm from Mintai and I made this beauty Before we dive into this, I will give you the measurements. <clears throat> um, we have a 9 inch by 8.5 and, and the spine is a 3 inch. The cover from the front, really pretty, with all these flowers and here these beautiful frame. And this is three-dimensional. Here are many of these cutouts I glued on the butterflies. And I have here some lavender. We have some lace, some seam binding. And this is a resin frame. And um, the lavender here, I embossed this with some glaze. Here you can see this. And this is a crystal button. This is for the closure. This is the spine. <clears throat> I made here these decoration with some mesh fabric. And I put here also some of these lavender. And on the back side, as always, this is um, plain. And we have only here again these lace and this ribbon. This album has four main pages, four signatures, and we have eight single pages. In each of these pages there are an insert and I don't um, decorate the inserts so you have more space for pictures. To open this, we have here this loop, also made out of this um, mesh, and this is a little elastic, so if you close this and you put more of some pictures inside, <clears throat> the album can grow, can get a little bit more thicker. So when we open this, we have here on the front and on the back, it's the same. Only here a decoration for two pictures. And this is loose so you can glue the picture behind. And here you can glue a smaller one on this picture mat. Um, I don't do anything more on here because um, this is thick and fat enough. So I want to uh, save a little bit space so you can put inside uh, many pictures. Page number one has here these string closure. And you can open this. And we have here a pocket. This is a die pocket. I used um, se several dies from, um, I think, Crealis, from Marianne Design and from Hartfeld Creation. And one die, I don't know where I get this. This is uh, too long ago. <clears throat> so here on this little flap, we have a pocket and inside of here, there are two little cards, one picture mat and one of these cutouts where you can journal on if you like. Here I put on some crystals. This is um, a decoration from the cutouts. On this side we have also a pocket and here is a nice picture mat. This is also here decorated with some crystals. And here I made out of these um, cutouts a little booklet. 
you can open this again like this. Here we have uh, a nice tuck spot for a picture. This is loose so you can slide your picture here under like this. And here you have place for a picture if you like. Here you can put a small picture or you can journal on. This is again a pocket with these crystals, a nice picture mat and one of these cards. And we can open this like this and here we have a nice spot for a picture and you can put this picture here underneath these uh, nice die. This is, I think this is one of the heartfelt. On the bottom <clears throat> it's the same. We have here this pocket with the crystals, the card and the picture mat and when you open this we have here again these tuck spot for a picture. So. And everything is closed here with this seam binding. Here are the inserts and I don't decorate anything. I leave them plain in white. So I put this out for an example. The rest I will don't want to put this out. I leave this inside. They are look all the same. The next page, page number two, is here this pocket page. This is only a pocket and inside of here we have a big picture mat and we have here these two tags and you can see this is a pocket but we have here made out of these uh, cutouts a nice layout try to bring you this a little bit closer And see this is made out of these cutout pieces a nice decoration here on the side so this goes back inside of here like this page number three is this one and this is um, a die, um, like I said, I don't know where I get this. Um, this is nice for some card decorations or maybe a belly band. We have this um, again in the album for a belly band. And um, I glued here a strip of these dark cardstock under. So you can see here these um, cutouts a little bit better. And I put here on also some crystals. This is a magnetic closure. We can open this and we have here a nice tuck spot. This is also a die. I have this for years, never used, first time. So here is a little card and you have here place for some pictures. <clears throat> here have, again we have these die with these crystals and you can open this again. Here is place for a smaller picture if you like and here we have a waterfall. And underneath you can place also a small picture. This is um, a new waterfall for me. Um, this is not 
the one that I do normal. This is um, a stacked waterfall. This was the first time and I think I like these kind of waterfall more than the other one because it's easier. It's easier to glue in and it's easier to get a straight waterfall. Here we have um, made these strips and on every single strip I glued again um, here one of these dies. This is a, uh, a die from Crealis. And we close this. Here again we have these insert. Page number three is this one here. I had to make here later at the end when I glued in all my pages here these ribbon closures because I forget to glue some magnets in. But it looks pretty already. On the front here is a nice decoration with two of these cutouts. We have here a small tag spot with a tag. And here we have a pocket. And inside of here one of these picture mats and one of these little booklets. Um, I want to have this uh, as a page where you can put more pictures on. So every left side is a plain page where you can put on some pictures. Smaller pictures, one big, uh, bigger picture or a really big picture if you have. So then you can turn this again and here we have created a pocket page with two pockets. These are some of these cards. This is uh, from Hardfair Creation, a die. <clears throat> so you can put this here inside and then you can open this again. And here you have enough space to put in some pictures, smaller, bigger and a big one. Then we can flip this again and we have here again these die for the pockets and two of these cards. This is a decoration with some of these cutouts and here is a nice big spot for some pictures. And we have to close this. This is a really heavy page. Come on. Page number four, this one, is a simple page. This is magnetic here. And this is a fold out like this and we have here place for pictures here you have <coughs> sorry place for picture this is one of these cutouts this is loose so you can put a picture here behind and you can put also some pictures here on these two flaps on the outside this closes magnetic. The magnet is here under this decoration. And we have two magnets here on each of these flaps. I forget to show you this one. Huh. This is not only this simple page. We can open this one again. And we have here place for a picture. This is loose. Here you can put a picture and you can open this one again and there is another place for a picture and you can put also some pictures here in the middle of the page. So 
and this is my simple page. So, page number five. This one, we have here this little window. I cut out all these um, little windows here and also here behind this one. I cut all the background off and this is place for a picture. This is also the closure. This is magnetic. This closes, it holds here this page closed and we can put this like this and here you can place a picture and this is the original page so you have here this window again with all the background so this is also the closure and we can open this like this here I made a little pocket for one of these cards. Here you have place for a picture and you can open this one again. Place for a picture, here you can journal on and inside of this big pocket I made here this booklet. And this is a booklet where you can journal in. This is a dotted paper and we made here these little booklets. <coughs> this is a booklet where you can write some stories in. So this goes back inside of here. And here we have again a nice decoration with these cutout elements. So page number seven. Page number seven is one of my favorite pages. This closes again here with this bow. Here we have a nice decoration and this is a magnetic closure and we can open this. This is a door page and you have place here, this is plain, place for some pictures. That's it. But you can open this one again. You can open this like this and here we have a frame. You see this? We made here with these cutout elements a beautiful frame. Three dimensional, you see? And I created here a tuck spot for two pictures. This is for an example. I will leave this in so you can see how this looks without some pictures. And here we have these um, cutout elements as a stopper where you can place your pictures under. And so this is a really beautiful page with lots of decoration, with lots of um, single elements we here glued on this frame. Here these butterflies, these roses, many of some grass. These are layered. I think this was three different uh, papers on grass. <coughs> I glued um, on top of each other. So really pretty. Try to bring you this a little bit closer. Maybe you can see this better this yeah I think this is good I love this pitch I had so much fun to do this so. And the last page, page number eight, is a really simple page, but a beautiful page. It is 
only, only a page with some um, belly bands. We have here three picture mats and we have three belly bands. This is here these, these die. I glued this only on top and bottom and here I put some ribbon inside. Then there is another belly band and this bigger one. And to hold everything in place we have here some magnets on the belly band and on our picture frames uh, and our picture mats. So that everything here, tuck, here grabs the magnet, that nothing can fall out, nothing will move or get loose. Everything is stuck here under these belly bands. This is a little booklet. This goes on here and you can see there's the magnet. And this one, the small one, has also a magnet, two magnets, so this will not twist or turn, this stays where it is. And here we have, again, these layout where you can put your picture here behind. <clears throat> so that's it. That is... Um, my lavender farm from um, Mintai. This is, I think, the third album I made with Mintai papers. Mintai has so many pretty papers and I have a lot of Mintai papers. Um, I had to use them more often. Um, if I had a wish, I would love to have more different papers inside of these paper packs. But you can, if you see, you can do um, a lot of uh, nice different pages. I hope you like this and you give me a thumbs up if you like this. And I will go straight to the next project and I will see you there. Bye bye. Thank you.